back to another episode of Fearless Across! Greetings from the Love Machine Resort, Korea Castle! It's that night, it's now or never. of Mar, Mar, <laughs> sea or ocean for two years. Woo! So she's happy, happy. We're all enjoying the water here. It's a little hot, but the sun keeps going behind the clouds. We have at least a day here. So we got here early, right before noon. They let us right into our room. Very reasonable. And we actually have an ocean view. Yeah. Even though we're, we're kind of a little bit up inland into the resort, we still have an ocean view, so that was a definite plus. Yeah, and this time of the day, because it's midday, everybody else is in the same. They don't want to be on the beach. They're probably having lunch, staying out of the sun. So we have, we virtually have the beach all to ourselves. Yeah, because white people aren't afraid of sunburn. <laughs> We're going in front of the camera. <laughs> Woo! I just dove in with my hat off. Oh, oh. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> I was supposed to take my hat off. I was supposed to take my contact lenses off. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> okay. We're going to have some fun. Woo! We'll see you soon. Thanks, soon. Thank you. We visited the Lampasigan Beach Resort on the last weekend of November and we were surprised that there were not a lot of people. choice of grilled food priced per kilogram. If you are in a small group that can't consume that much, we strongly advise bringing your own meals as there are no restaurants in the immediate vicinity. This is the hotel part of the resort and we're staying at the second floor over there in that room. Ocean view! Ocean view. <laughs> There's a room up there on the left. It's 
from outside our room we can find a little view of the ocean and the pool and the playgrounds and this is a room <sighs> reality reality tv <laughs> This is a huge resort. So there are a lot of places that kids can hang out at, like playgrounds. There are several pockets of playgrounds scattered all over their premises. And there's lots of cottages, both open and closed. There's also a hotel part. And they have rooms for every size of group. So there are rooms for two people. There are rooms for bigger groups. Yeah, there's a lot of space here in this resort. So. Uh, social distancing, physical distancing isn't really an issue because every group is situated at a safe distance from each other. Oh. You can see the ocean. Yeah. yeah, you can see the ocean. Oh, hot now, man. Yeah, and there's some exercise facilities here for the grown ups, their own little grown up playground, and a little something something from the kids. There's also an available venue for big groups weddings, birthdays, and other reception needs. Oh, is well, Miriam gonna climb a wall? One of the main reasons why we chose to stay in this beach resort is the playgrounds. Miriam has not been to a lot of playgrounds since the pandemic started. And the sheer joy of seeing her in her element, enjoying herself, expanding her energies in the most creative ways is simply priceless. Some of the playground equipment need to be repaired, but most of them are in good working order. It is understandable given the many losses that businesses like these have suffered during the pandemic. And we hope that this video can help bring tourism back to this lovely place that is perfect for families. exercising we're supposed to be at the playground and somebody wants to burn calories yeah. all right yes. way to go nanai I better keep an eye on Miriam <laughs> what are you doing what's that you don't know I think that's for exercise too Miriam somehow whoa those are big fish probably can't really tell by perspective but I would say almost two feet long, that one. Yeah. Maybe uh, 30, 40, 50 something centimeters. That's a big boy. And there's two more over there. Oh, there's another big one here. Look, Miriam. This one's better. <gasps> Are they catfish? It's so big. So big. Woo. 
But what did you eat, Nana? I don't know. We just realized that these two have look-alikes. So the day is coming to a close here at Sariaya and the sun is setting in the west over there on the other side. We're enjoying the rest of this afternoon while, uh, while the uh, beach gets cooler here. The sun is setting over there, but with the mountains there in the way, we don't have a direct view of the sun sunset as it happens. Hello! Oh. Hi! We're getting freebies! Freebies? Yeah. And, and, we and shells! We found some shells! Shells! Oh, wow. small! Okay! Probably because the currents never very strong here. Yeah. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> it feels wonderful to be out at the ocean. <laughs> I've never felt this freedom during the pandemic so this is this is unprecedented <laughs> What are you doing? I'm going to sleep in the sofa bed. Oh, you made yourself a sofa bed? So it's the two chairs that were against this wall over here, mm -hmm. side by side, and Miriam decided yes, to join them together to see if she could sleep there. Yes. And she wants to sleep there. So Look, that's good news for it, Nana and Tata it, because Miriam's a kicker and a puncher at night. And I have my dogs. Maybe biscuit and What? Who do you have? Kitty cat. Snoopy, Biscuit, Kitty Cat, and Puppy Dog. And I doubt that this is gonna last. I hope she doesn't end up on the floor. Hopefully it gets too uncomfortable for her and she wakes up before the split actually takes her all the way down to the floor. Right, Miriam? Yes. Okay. Say goodnight to everybody. Goodnight. Alright, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Yes, I'm gonna look for the Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but it's so cool. Yeah. See how it comes? Yeah. yeah. Right here, Mary, look. Right. Bye. This is the next day, day two in Sariaya, Quezon, and it's low tide. <laughs> So we're a bit far from shore. This is a little sandbar that forms during low tide. And there's a square pattern here for the waves. Usually they say when they when you see this, 
at the ocean or in the sea, if you see square interference patterns in the waves, you better head for cover because it's danger. But I think this is just because of the way the sandbar has formed. So it's like a structure of the, the shore underneath. So probably no big deal. And it's pretty. <laughs> this is how shallow it is. It only reaches up to my knees. And this is how far we are from shore. So. watching another episode of Phil Lamstergram! Don't forget to subscribe! As always,